so something I've seen a few times, but it's it's kind of not as popular anymore. But I still I still see it every now and then, so I feel like it's still worth commenting on because I haven't yet. Is when people try to say that Captain America would be racist because of the time that he was from. And I've even seen things where, like, they'll take the cinematic, um, you know, like, or, uh, still, sorry, from the Avengers movie, and um, he'll be like, uh, why is there an uh, N-word, not the one that ends in the er sound, the O sound ending one? Anyways, in charge one, and, and then everyone's like, oh my god, it's like, He's like, yeah, because he grew, grew up in the 30s and he's from the 40s, so he would be racist because everyone was racist back then. Like, I always find that so stupid because one, no, not everyone was racist back then. M most people were, but not everyone. And how do I know that Captain America was not? Well, let's just take a look at the Howling Commandos, the small, it, like, relatively small, group of soldiers that Captain America personally handpicked. So we got, you know, we got some mostly white guys, sure, but we have two who are not. We have an Asian dude and a black dude. So I'm pretty sure he wasn't racist. <laughs> that and also the fact that he was Irish, uh, he's Irish, and, th and nowadays that doesn't mean as much, but back then, Irish people are treated the way Mexicans and uh, other Central American immigrants are today. So he would have received a lot of racism and discrimination too. So even though you know, he's a blonde hair, blue eyed white person, he is Irish, so that would have uh, warranted some discrimination. Plus, I mean, the fact that he was. I mean, like, um. Oh, how am I forgetting the doctor's name now? It was, oh, so bad. Anyways, <laughs> but um, the 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 German scientist doctor person who um, you know created the super soldier serum. Remember how he specifically picked him because he was like, you know what it's like to be treated like shit and you know to not have everything go your way. Because also the fact that like he was this little like skinny, short, disabled person. Too so bear, don't eat my food. That's still cooling, but I don't want you to eat it. Sorry, my cat's trying to eat my food. Anyways, um, thank you for not eating my food. Um, so, like, he would have received tons of discrimination, so I really don't feel like he'd be one of the people, I'm pretty sure he would be like, yeah, I know what it's like to be treated like shit for things that I have no control over, I don't, and I disagree with it. And the fact that he was, you know, pretty, he, he doesn't, he's like, I don't like bullies, so, yeah, I just, I don't understand people are like, oh, he's from the Mortys, he has to be a racist person. No, it just doesn't make any sense for his character. And, and there's can and there's proof that he wasn't. So, like, yeah, the Captain America not racist, man. So, Harris not. Yeah. In fact, I'm pretty sure other Avengers would have been more racist than he would, like, Except for, I'm trying to think like who would be more most likely to be racist and like least likely to be racist would probably be Thor because like he's from a world where the concepts of that stuff doesn't really like, there's no, what? There's no race, out. no, wait, I almost said there's no racism on Asgard, <laughs> sorry, but races, the races as we have them here on Earth are, diff are not this, uh, what they have on Asgard, so. I'm, I'm rambling now and I've made my point, so I'm gonna end the video. Thank you for watching.